There's one for you, Emelina. Thank you, Winston. And one for you, Abra. <laughs> and one for me. Mmm, delicious, Winston. <laughs> Abra, you shouldn't bark with your mouth full. Ah, Saturday. My favorite day. No humans to bother us. What's that? Someone's coming. Quick, Winston. They mustn't see us like this. But I haven't even had a bite of my... Hi. That's strange. It smells like someone's cooking hamburgers in here. Must be my imagination. There's no one around. Oh, this is for a job I've got today. See, I'm handing out ads for a little art gallery down the street. I thought it'd be fun to wear a costume. What do you think? You see, I've got this artist smock, this red beret, and a lovely red handkerchief. And all I have to do is stand on the street and hand out ads to people who pass by. Oh, and here's what I've got to say to them. <clears throat> my kerchief is red. My collar is blue. Come in. We've got some art for you. See, that's not very hard to say. Hey, why don't you say it along with me? I'll try it again. My kerchief is red. My collar is blue. Come in. We've got some art for you. There. I need just one more practice. Say, why don't you fill in the blanks where I leave the words out, okay? My kerchief is... Uh-huh. My collar is... Mm-hmm. Come in. We've got some art for... That's right. Perfect. I'm all set. Oh, I better get going. I don't want to be late. See you later. Mm. My kerchief's red, my smock is blue. Honestly, I thought he'd never leave. Now for a little peace and quiet. Join us, Winston. Your hamburger is getting cold. <laughs> Abra, that's the second time today. I'm starving. I can't wait to... Not again. I'm afraid so. Ah, what a great morning. You know, I don't usually come to work on a Saturday, but I decided to come in today and maybe finish up a few loose ends. That's odd. It smells like somebody's been barbecuing hamburgers in here. <laughs> That's crazy. Must be someone down the street. <laughs> I brought a special paintbrush from home to do a few touch-ups on this painting. It's for my granddaughter. Boy, what a beautiful day. You know, I really didn't need to wear my jacket today. The sun is shining and it's so nice and warm. Ah, see? <laughs> this is the kind of day I love best, a lazy day. I know a song about some things you have time to do on a lazy day. Why don't you help me do those lazy day things? Lazy day, kind of day I like a lot of. Lazy day, glad for all the time I've got. Got no hurry, no rush gets in my way. Glad that I got this lazy day. I got time to stretch, time to yawn, time to stroll out all along. Time to play or fly a kite. I might row a boat. Yeah, the time's just right on this lazy day. I've got a paintbrush for my costume. I'm going to take this one. 
Why don't you have a lazy day with me, okay? <laughs> I got time to stretch, time to yawn, time to stroll out on the lawn, time to play or fly a kite. I might row a boat. Yeah, the time's just right on this lazy day. Kind of day I like a lot of lazy day. Glad for all the time I got. Got no hurry, no rush gets in my way. Glad that I got this lazy day. Glad that I got this lazy day. Oh. <laughs> you know, there's something else I love to do on a lazy day. Read a mystery novel. You know where something mysterious happens and you have to figure out who did it? As a matter of fact, I have one in my briefcase. I think I'll go and get it. This is going to be just perfect. The mystery of the Pharaoh's tomb. I always wanted to be a detective. Nope. Before I get wrapped up in this book, I think I'm going to put the finishing touches on that painting. You know, my granddaughter would be awfully disappointed if I didn't do it today. Hmm. That's strange. I thought I put the paintbrush in here. I don't see it. You know, I think we may have a mystery right here in the workshop. The mystery of the missing paintbrush. My kerchief is red, my collar is blue. Come in, we've got some art for you. Well, I think I've got it. Here goes nothing. Hello, good afternoon. My kerchief is... Gone! Uh, excuse me, I'll be right back. I thought, if we're going to solve the mystery of the missing paintbrush, I should use my magnifying glass. Now first, we're going to look for some clues. Maybe you can give me a hand. Look around the workshop and see if there's anything that can explain where the paintbrush is. Aha! I wonder how this got here. It isn't mine, and I'm the only one that's been here today. This is a clue. I'm sure of it. Now, how did it get here? You know, in mystery novels, they always retrace their steps. Can you remember what I did when I came in? Maybe you can help me remember. If I do the wrong thing, you shout, uh-oh, and you'll hear this sound. If I do the right thing, you shout, aha, and you'll hear this sound. Now, I'm going to go outside, and I'm going to start from the beginning. But I'll need my jacket, and my briefcase, and my hat. I walked into the room, and I went straight over to the workbench, right? Uh-oh. You're absolutely right. I didn't go over to the workbench. I went, and I hung up my hat. Good for you. Then, I went out to the balcony, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> Boy, you make good detectives. And you're right. I didn't go out to the balcony. I went over to the workbench, and I put my paintbrush in here. Then what did I do? Ah, yes. I went to the sofa. Uh-oh. I didn't go to the sofa. I went over and I put my jacket and my briefcase on the steps. Then I went out to the balcony. Right? Ah.
Then we sang the Lazy Day song. I got up, went inside, sat on the sofa, discovered my paintbrush was missing, and then I found the handkerchief. Hmm. I want to think about this for a minute. It really is a mystery. Have you seen my handkerchief? Oh, there it is. Thanks. Got to run. Bye. Maybe we should take a look at that handkerchief again. It might have a name printed on it. That would be a good clue. I'll put it on our juice train. Hello? Jacob speaking. Zach? No, he's not here today. Um, yeah, just one minute. I'll check his schedule. Ah, here it is. Yeah, he's at Stickles Art Gallery. No problem. Bye. Now, where was I? Aha! The pad and pencil. Right. Now, let me get this all down here. First, there was the paintbrush. Saturdays are always really busy days for me. I was just about to get some groceries when I bumped into Zach. He asked me if I'd mind running up here to get him a glass of juice. Hmm. I guess he meant this glass of juice. I'll see you later. That young woman has forgotten her bottles. Now that is only going to add to the confusion. There is positively nothing confusing about bottles. They are made of glass. Oh. Glass, Abra. It's an invisible material made by wizards. <laughs> Abra, don't believe a word he says. Glass is made by humans. <laughs> humans? I've never heard such a crazy thing in all my life. Abra, pay no attention. It is made by humans, and I'll prove it to you. Watch this. This is a very hot furnace. These men are removing containers called pots. The pots are filled with a mixture of sand, potash, oxide, and crushed crystal, which is melted into a red-hot liquid. When it cools, it will become glass. This I've got to see. You will. This man is a glass blower. As the hot liquid glass cools, the air blown into it helps give it a shape, like blowing up a glass balloon. When the glass has cooled a bit, another glass blower takes over. He dips the glass into the pot, covering it with just enough of the hot liquid glass for what he wants to make. Are you sure they're not wizards in disguise? Positive. The glass is warm enough that these pieces will stick together. See? Now it's time to get rid of the unnecessary parts. The glass is still warm enough to be shaped. And finally, a pattern is cut into it.
Not a wizard in sight, and the piece of glass is complete. You see, it has nothing to do with wizards at all. Ignore her, Abra. There isn't a piece of glass on Earth that wasn't put here by a wizard. This piece wasn't. Come along, Abra. All right. I may have exaggerated the truth just slightly. Then I poured the juice and the phone rang. Now, where'd I put the juice? Oh, it's on the train. Maybe a sip of my juice will help me think of something. What? What happened to my juice? I must have left it on the counter. What? It's gone too. Now, I may have forgotten to put the juice on the train, but I know I didn't forget to pour the juice. Something very strange is going on here. I think it's time to look for some more clues. Aha! These bottles were not here before. Now, who could have put them here? And who could have taken my juice? Zach is working, and it's Nikki's day off. Hmm. You know, sometimes in mystery novels, they make a drawing, and then they mark where the clues are found. I think I'll do that. Now, where's that drawing board? I know. It's in the storage room. Anybody here? Jacob must be around somewhere. I got my groceries. But you know what? I think I forgot something. I made up a little poem to help me remember what to get. I'll teach it to you, and then we can figure out what it is that I forgot. It goes like this. I need bacon to fry, apple juice to drink, soap to do the dishes in the kitchen sink, eggs to boil, nuts to crack. Don't forget to take the empties back. I'll say it again, and this time, say it with me, OK? It's easy. I need bacon to fry, apple juice to drink, soap to do the dishes in the kitchen sink, eggs to boil, nuts to crack, and don't forget to take the empties back. So you see, I have six things on my list, but only five things in my bag. Why don't I take them out one at a time, as we say the poem, we can see what it is that I forgot. OK, here we go. I need bacon to fry, apple juice to drink, soap to do the dishes in the kitchen sink, eggs to boil, nuts to crack. Don't forget to take the empties back. Empties, of course. <laughs> it took me a while, but I, I found this drawing board I used to use. Uh-oh. Anyway, you know, it seems like every time I leave the room, something strange happens. But at least nothing happened this time. I bet you the bottles are still there. What? Aha! Someone's groceries. This is a very important clue. Someone, I don't know who, has come here, and I don't know why, and left again. Now, Zach's working, so it must be Nikki. <laughs> Obviously, she had to leave in a hurry. Anyway, I think I'll put them away for her, and then we'll solve the mystery of the missing paintbrush. I wish he'd get on with solving the mystery. 
I want to eat my hamburger. While we're waiting, I know a story about someone who solved a mystery. Listen, and I'll tell you. How Amanda Found a New Friend by Emmeline Wish. When Amanda was six years old, her parents decided to move away from the big city and live in the suburbs. There weren't very many tall buildings, and there weren't very many cars. But there were a lot of trees and a lot of nice houses. Now, like anyone else, Amanda was glad to have a great big house, and she was glad to have a nice big tree to climb. But she wasn't very glad about having no friends. I miss all my friends from the city, she told her parents. I don't have anyone to play with. You will make new friends in time, Amanda. We've only been here for three days. Amanda's mother didn't seem to know that three days in Amanda's life was a long time. In the city, Amanda and her friend Sandy would have so much fun. Their favorite game was detective. Who would play detective with her now? Amanda looked out the window of her new house. She couldn't see one sign of children anywhere. There were no bikes, no roller skates, and no balls. Her parents had made a terrible mistake. Amanda was very upset. Where are all the kids, asked Amanda. Well, why don't you go outside and see what you can find, said her father. Good idea, said her mother. You could play detective. You might find a clue to where all the children are. All I'm going to find is nothing. There are no children around here. But after a lot of grumbling and complaining, Amanda went outside. Amanda really did like her big backyard, but she knew it would be a lot nicer with children in it. She also knew that children were not hard to find. They usually left clues all over the place. Amanda could tell there were no clues to be found. Or were there? As she swung up and down, she saw something hanging in a tree. It didn't look like a leaf. Amanda decided that she would go a little closer to see what it was. Way up in the tree, she saw something with a long string dangling from the end of it. It had little bows tied all along it. Amanda was pretty sure it was a kite. A kite was promising. Maybe there were kids around here after all. What she needed was another clue. She carefully looked around until she noticed something else. It was lying in the grass right near a bush. At first, she thought it was a turtle upside down. But then she realized that she had discovered a second clue. It was a running shoe. Amanda noticed right away that it was not big enough to fit an adult, but it was definitely just the right size for a child. And then Amanda noticed one more thing. It was long and skinny and was also lying in the grass. At each end, it was bright red. Could this be another clue? She moved closer to it. Just as she was about to decide that it was a monster snake, she realized that it was a good old skipping rope. There must be children nearby. Suddenly, she heard laughter. It was coming from behind the house next door. Walking towards the noise, she heard water splashing. This must be where all the children are. As Amanda turned the corner of the house, all the noise stopped. For a minute, no one said anything. And then one little girl with bright red hair bounced up to her. My name is Kelly. Are you the new girl? Yes, I am, said Amanda. A little surprised that Kelly knew about her. Maybe Kelly was a detective, too. That was all it took. Kelly introduced Amanda to all her friends and invited her to play in the pool. It was then and there that Amanda decided that as wonderful as the city was, the suburbs looked like they were going to be a great place to live, too. See how cleverly Amanda put her clues together and figured out where the children were? Yes, but it would have been easier if she had enchanted the kite. Wizards. It's fun to live with them, but sometimes it's easier without. 
Oh, Emelina, can't you take a joke? Emelina? Emelina? Emelina! <laughs> there. Now I can make a drawing of where our clues were found. <laughs> I can't believe it. I left the chalk in the storage room. I'll be right back. your act. Yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it, too. Yeah, well, I gotta get going. I've got guests coming this afternoon, and I want to be ri My groceries. My groceries are gone. Well, where were they? Well, I, l I left them right here on the counter. Well, you know, the door's been wide open. Maybe someone could have taken them away. Yeah, but I thought Jacob was here. Uh, somebody was. Everything's been put away. Well, it must be Jacob. Look, there's his briefcase and his jacket. But where is he? Well, he couldn't have gone too far. Probably went for a walk or something. Mm. Look, I'll look out on the balcony and you check out the door. Okay, okay. and if you see him, wave this at him. Oh, okay. Jacob must be out here somewhere. Finally, we can draw our clues. The juice glass. Aha! Hi, Jacob. The red handkerchief. Aha! Oh, hi, Jacob. My paintbrush. Aha! <laughs> Is there something wrong, Jacob? Well, let's just say you two have solved a very mysterious day. Aha! you feel when everything is going just right? Well, that's the way I feel today. Makes me want to sing. Why don't you sing with me? And don't forget to clap your hands like the song says. Yes! I'm so happy I can clap my hands. I'm so happy I can clap my hands. Clap my hands across the lands. I'm so happy I can clap my hands. Let's do it together. That's it. Together again. Uh-huh. Ah, yes. Uh-huh, I love it. I'm so happy I can tap my feet. I'm so happy I can tap my feet. 
tap my feet to keep the beat. I'm so happy I can tap my feet. The right one, yes. Mm, mm, da, da. Mm, mm, da, da. That's the, the right one again. Oh, that's great. Aha. Uh -huh. If you want to sing this song, there's nothing to it. You can clap and tap along. Join right in and do it, do it, do it. I'm so happy I can slap my knees. I'm so happy I can slap my knees. Slap my knees just how I please. I'm so happy I can slap my knees. The right one. That's it. Oh, that's great timing. Yes, I love it. Ah, that's fun. Yes. Happy I could clap. Happy I could tap. Happy I could slap my knees. My arms. Myself. Oh! Looks like we've got company. What a horrible audition. I'll never get that part. Well, hello to you, too. Sorry, Jacob. I think we better change the words to our song. I'm so gloomy that I want to cry. I'm so gloomy that I want to cry, cry and moan and sigh and groan. I'm so gloomy that I want to cry. <laughs> Why don't you cry with me? Come on. Let's make a sad face as gloomy as Zax is. Oh, I'm so gloomy that I want to cry. Oh, I'm so gloomy that I want to cry. Cry and moan and sigh and groan. I'm so gloomy that I want to cry. <laughs> I get so mad when I ruin a chance like that. But why are you so upset? I really prepared myself carefully. Uh, I thought it was going to be great, but I don't know what went wrong. First, I forgot my lines. Then the pianist couldn't find my sheet music for my song. And I tripped when I was leaving the stage. Oh, I was so embarrassed. Well, Zach, you know, we all have days where things just don't seem to go right. But never mind. There'll be other auditions. Hmm. So what do you think of all my hard work? Oh, sorry, Jacob. I... I hadn't paid much attention. That's all right. I understand. But your costumes look fabulous. Wow, look at that Aladdin's lamp. It's beautiful. I wish it was real. What would you wish for? Well, lots of things. I'd wish I hadn't blown that audition. I'd wish that I got the part of Aladdin in the play. I'd wish I was a famous actor. I'd wish I was a star. Of course, not many people become that famous. I don't expect we'll ever see a real star around here. Oh, Abra. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, if this was a real magic lamp, I know what I'd wish for. I'd wish that I got the part of Aladdin in the play. Hello? Oh, hi, are, are you Zach? Y yeah, who are you? I'm Julia. I'm a friend of Nikki's. I do sound effects, too. Oh. Mind if I sit down? No, go ahead. So? Oh, I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Well, kind of. Nikki isn't using her equipment this week. That's right. She's on location working on a film. Right. So she said I could use it for a play I'm working on. Oh. Maybe you've heard about it. It's called Aladdin. Ooh. What's the matter? Did yeah. I say something wrong? No, no, not really. It's just that I just came from an audition for that play, and, well, it didn't go very well. Oh, Zach, I'm sorry. Nikki says you're a good actor. 
Maybe it didn't go as badly as you think. I don't know about that, Julia. Hey, look at this great Aladdin's lamp. Is it for the play? It looks so real. Hey, have you made a wish on it, Zach? Aren't wishes supposed to be kept secret? You're right. Forget I asked. Well, I should get to work. That is, if it's okay with you and Jacob. Oh, do you know Jacob too? Oh, sure, we're old pals. We've done quite a few shows together. Is he around? Uh, yeah, I believe he's out on the balcony working on some props for the Aladdin show. Do you know he made this? Oh, he's the best there is, boy. Mm. Zach, I left some black paint on the kitchen counter. Would you send it out? Oh, sure thing, Jacob. Watch this, Julia. Thanks a lot, Zach. Oh, hi, Julia. <laughs> what brings you here? Hi, Jacob. Nikki said I could use her equipment for a couple of days while she's away, if that's all right with you. Oh, that's fine with me. It'll be nice to have you around. Thanks. Oh, by the way, these props look just great. I mean, this Aladdin's lamp looks real enough to wish on. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> well, have you made a wish, Jacob? Me? <laughs> no way. <laughs> you won't catch me making any wishes. Well, why not? Well, I guess I just don't believe in magic. I think we make our own wishes come true. Like that song from the show we did last year. Exactly. Huh? Which song is that? We'll sing it for you. Yeah. Okay. And why don't you join us? All you have to do is sing, yes you do, yes you do, yes you do, very loud, three times at the end of the chorus. Like this. Yes you do, yes you do, yes you do. Once again. Yes you do, yes you do, yes you do. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you make your wishes come true. Not wizards, not witches, not genies, but you. You, you make your wishes come true. Yes, you do, yes, you do, yes, you do. A tiny bird who learns how to fly. Looks like a dream as he floats through the sky. That little bird flies, cause he tries and he tries. He makes his wishes come true. Baseball player swings with a bat. Hitting the ball every time with a crack. Looks like luck, but she works hard at that. She makes her wishes come true. You. You make your wishes come true. Not wizards, not witches, not genies, but you. You, you make your wishes come true. Yes, you do, yes, you do, yes, you do. Actor who stars in a movie or play always knows just the right lines to say. That's because he rehearses day after day. He makes his wishes come true. You, you make your wishes come true. Not wizards, not witches, not genies, but you. You, you make your wishes come true. Yes, you do, yes, you do, yes, you do. You, you make your wishes come true. Not wizards, not witches, not genies, but you. You. Make your wishes come true. Yes, you do. 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 Thanks, you two. I feel better already. You know, you're right. I can't just rely on wishes to get the parts that I want. I've really got to work hard at it. Well, Zach, I certainly know how you feel. Jacob, do you mean you never make wishes? That's what I said. Never? Never. Well, why not? 
Well, when I was a kid, I really wanted a bicycle. And I must have wished for one a hundred times a day. But my family didn't have a lot of money. And after a while, I realized I wasn't going to get one. So I promised myself that I would never waste time on wishes again. Oh, that's terrible. Well, not really, Julia. I did get a bicycle. You did? Mm-hmm. I got a job after school, and I saved up enough money to buy a secondhand one. Boy, I really did like that bicycle. <laughs> so you see, I got what I wished for. But I made my wishes come true. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at the time. <laughs> I've got to get this finished. Uh, I've got lots to do, uh, too. Yeah, and I want to work on my audition piece so I don't blow it the next time. <laughs> Jacob, I'll take this back inside. Okay, thanks, Julia. You know, I don't agree with Jacob. I think it's wonderful to wish. I mean, I know wishes don't very often come true, but every once in a while they do. Oh, and that reminds me, I still haven't had my wish. I wish... I wish... Jacob could learn to wish again. Oh my, humans do love to wish. They certainly do, Emelina. They certainly do. I wish I was a fairy and that I could make my brother disappear. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to go to bed. A typewriter. Beautiful butterfly wings. Um, Every single second, I get a wish. <laughs> you wish you had a piece of watermelon, Abra? <laughs> well, that's an easy one. Now, don't spoil your dinner. I can't wait to get started on these sound effects for Aladdin. This videotape shows what sounds the director needs. Let's make it into a game. I'll show you a picture, and uh, you tell me when I found the right sound to go with it. Okay, this is one of the palace musicians playing a drum. Listen now, here's the first sound. No, that doesn't sound like a drum. Uh, how about this? Does that sound like a drum to you? No, that's bells, isn't it? You're right. That's definitely the sound of the drum. Okay, this next one is a bit hard. Let's give it a try. This is a peacock, and it lives in the palace garden. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not too sure what peacocks sound like. Maybe we'll recognize it when we hear it. Here's the first sound. Uh, do you think that's a peacock? <laughs> no, I'm sure that was a cow. Um, how about this? Nope, it was a dog, wasn't it? And this? What do you think? I think that's the right sound. Maybe the next time you go to the zoo, you can look for the peacocks and uh, see if we're right. Uh, could work. Thank you very much for your help. What's so important about this battered old lamp? You know, this battered old lamp. Yeah. This battered old lamp. Bravo, Zach. I think you'd make a great Aladdin. Uh, too bad I won't get the chance to prove it. Now, don't give up hope. You may get a phone call yet. But in the meantime, I need to know what these costumes are going to look like on real people. Huh. Would you guys help me and try them on? I'd love to, <laughs> oh, okay. but why don't we act out the story while we're doing it? Yeah, and I can be Aladdin, of course. Of course. And Julie, you can play the part of the princess. Aw, and, and... Jacob, the princess is boring. I know. That's why I was going to ask you to also be the genie of the lamp. Oh, well, that's <laughs> more like it. And I'll be the evil wizard. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to tell the story, too. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I hope I can keep all this straight. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Zach. Let's see how that costume looks on you. Okay. This is great. But if I'm going to be the genie of the lamp, I'll have to practice my magic spell. 
Oh, why don't you say it with me? It goes like this. Sim, Sim, Saliband, your every wish is my command. Got it? Now, in the story, every time the genie appears, we're going to say the magic spell. Like this. Sim, Sim, Saliband, your every wish is my command. Should we try it one more time? Okay, you say it along with me this time. Sim, Sim, Saliband, your every wish is my command. That was great. I think we're ready. Abra, hurry up. You're just in time for the story. Once upon a time, in a faraway city, there lived a poor boy named Aladdin. He eked out a living mending shoes, but he dreamed of finding adventure and romance. Every evening, when his work was done, Aladdin loved to explore the caves outside the city, looking for lost treasure. Oh, look, a cave. Well, I haven't found any treasure yet, but I feel like today's my lucky day. Perhaps today I will find the fable magic lamp. Hello, my boy. What are you doing here? Well, I'm going to go crawl inside that cave and look for some treasure. No, no. It might be dangerous. Let me go first. The opening is too small for me. Perhaps you better go first after all. Okay. Be sure to let me know what you find. Wow. What's in there, boy? Gold, jewels, silver, the treasure I've always dreamed of. Oh, and there's a rusty old lamp, too. Probably a piece of junk. That's it, the magic lamp. Never mind the treasure. Bring me the lamp. Huh? I said, bring me the lamp, now. He sounds pretty angry. I'm going to have nothing more to do with him. I'm just going to stay in here a little while. What? How dare you? I'm going to shut you up in there. And when I come back, I'll expect you to obey me. What am I going to do? Oh. What's so important about this battered old lamp? Besides, it could use a little bit of polishing. Who are you? I am the genie of the lamp. What is your wish? Uh, I don't know, I guess... Uh... I want to get out of here. I want to go home. Do you remember the magic spell? Sim, Sim, Saliband, your every wish is my command. Awesome. Aladdin could hardly believe that he was the owner of a magic lamp. At first, all he wanted was food and some new clothes. But as time went by, his heart's desire was to marry the king's beautiful daughter, the princess. Aladdin knew that the princess would never look at a poor boy like him. So he ordered the genie to create a magnificent palace with the most beautiful gardens ever seen. The princess was very impressed by the beautiful palace. And Aladdin himself seemed like a nice young man. So eventually, she agreed to marry him and they were very happy together. But the evil wizard never forgot how Aladdin had outwitted him. And one day, 
When Aladdin was away, he went to the palace, disguised as a paddler. New lamps for old, trading new lamps for old. New lamps for old? This is my chance to get rid of that dirty old lamp of Aladdin's. New lamps for old, trading new lamps for old. Sir, sir, I'll trade a new lamp for old. With pleasure, my lady. Aladdin will be so surprised to find a shiny new one in its place. <laughs> At last I have the lamp. And now I'll make Aladdin sorry he crossed me. <laughs> <laughs> I am the genie of the lamp. What is your wish? Take Aladdin's palace and his princess far away from here. <laughs> Don't forget the spell. Sim, Sim, Salaband, your every wish is my command. <laughs> my wife! My palace! The evil wizard must have done this. I will never rest until I find my princess! Aladdin searched the world over for the princess until finally, one day, he came to the place where the wizard had hidden the palace. Aladdin! Shh. I'm so glad you're here. But be careful. The wizard will be back at any moment. Where's the lamp? Oh, that rusty old thing. He carries it with him everywhere. Listen, I've got a plan. When the wizard falls asleep... Princess! Oh, no. Here he comes now. Hurry, hide! Leave me alone, girl. I'm very tired, and I want to rest. Yes, wizard. genie of the lamp what is your wish take this evil wizard far away where he will never bother anyone again to the south pole master perfect and then take me and the princess home are you ready sim sim salaband your every wish is my command Aladdin! Aladdin! I missed you, Aladdin. The most beautiful palace in the world means nothing if you're not with me. I'm so happy to have you back. And Aladdin and the princess lived happily ever after. A magic lamp, Abra? Oh, uh... Really, Abra? I would have thought that you'd know better than to believe those old stories. <gasps> oh. Well, really, Abra, I must apologize. Oh, I'll get it. Hello? Yes, Zach speaking. What? Yes? You do? I... I I did? Oh, well, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. Don't tell me. You got the part. Yeah, I did! <laughs> <laughs> I guess wishes do come true. See, when you two weren't looking, I made a wish on the magic lamp that I'd get the part of Aladdin in the play. Zach, you can believe you got the part because you rubbed the magic lamp. I think you got the part because you're talented. And you work hard. And most of all, you believe in yourself. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I've got a lot of hard work now. I've got a show to do. Oh, well, come on. I want you to listen to some of the sound effects I picked out for the play. Mm. 
You know, I thought I didn't believe in wishing, but anything that gives people that much pleasure can't be all bad. Maybe one little wish wouldn't hurt. Let's see. I wish. Aha! Uh -huh. I caught you wishing, Jacob. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, that means my wish came true, too. I wish that you would learn to wish again. Oh. So what'd you wish for? I wish for a red sports car. Well, that's an excellent <laughs> wish, Jacob. Only... You're right, it's not going to come true. Unless I make it come true. Uh-huh. All <laughs> right. You, you make your wishes come true. Not wizards, not witches, not genies, but you. You, you make your wishes come true. Yes, you do, yes, you do, yes, you do. You. You make your wishes come true. Not wizards, not witches, not genies, but you. You, you make your wishes come true. Yes, you do, yes, you do, yes, you do. Yes, you do, yes, you do, yes, you do. 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 Yes, you do.